go. All right, boys and girls, today our story in honor of March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. You all watched a video earlier about rainbows. And at the end of the rainbow, there is supposedly a pot of gold. The leprechaun is in charge of that pot of gold. And in our story, how to catch a leprechaun, words by Adam Wallace, that means he is the author, pictures by Andy El Elkerton, that means he is the illustrator. In our story, how to catch a leprechaun, little kids are trying to be pretty clever in order to catch him so he, they can have his gold. The night is dark, the streets are quiet, St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know, the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. It's a very naughty leprechaun. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one. I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. Looks like they used a little mouse trap here. It's too clever. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick. I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house? I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and I'll leave with a full belly. What he did to their shoes, put them in the sink. Very naughty. Now you're talking, look at this. It's dandelion tea, but I'm too speedy for your trap. The tea, it's, the tea is finally free. I know you want my pot of gold. The iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. Ha 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 ha! Now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy, pantsy, dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. See, he's escaping over there. The entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out that door. They made a little sign that says, totally safe for leprechauns. He didn't believe them. The leprechaun be gone 3,000 gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leafed clover, I won't be caught in there. A robot. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact, unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who could that child be? Better luck next year. So he escaped. The children were not able to catch him. What I would like you to do today is draw me a picture. You're making an invention, like in our robots section of Benchmark. You need to try to draw me a picture of something that can catch the leprechaun. Okay, and then have your mommy send me a picture. You get a point for that. Remember, we're having our competition so we can all see who gets to have lunch with me when we get to return. So please draw me a picture of a leprechaun trap 
and everybody's doing a great job. Here's a little shout out to Hugo. You had a fantastic picture of the rainbow from our science lesson today. Thank you very, very much for everybody who is sending me pictures of their work. I appreciate it. I am marking it off in my book and you are all doing a great job adjusting to our home enrichment. So thank you very much. Have a good evening and I will see you first thing in the morning so you can learn what you're doing tomorrow. Okay, good night.